Hello everybody. Welcome to La Vibi Cottage. Hope you all are doing well. If some of you are wondering what this video is about, you've guessed it correctly. It is in regards to Air France, which to me was the worst airline that I've ever flown with. Maybe some of you don't have that experience. Everybody's experience is different, fair enough. But this is specifically for the flights that Air France sends to Africa. Yes, the continent of Africa. I'm now going to talk about my experience and why this airline is such a disgrace even though it's classified as one of the top airlines. Now, let me get to my story. In 2019, I initially booked a flight with KLM from the UK. But then you know how KLM sometimes does it. Sometimes they have a departure flight with KLM and then the return flight is with Air France or any of their other Sky Partner airlines. In case some of you don't know, each airline has an alliance. KLM is in alliance with a couple of airlines such as Delta Airlines, Air France and Kenya Airways. I think there's maybe another one but I don't know which one it is. So sometimes they combine the flights. And KLM, we know that that's like one of the best airlines ever. Um, and, and so I was just looking for tickets, but then I saw that there were not really any available flight tickets back. Return flights with KLM. So there was one with Air France and I said, okay, there's no harm in trying. I've never flown with them. It cannot be that bad since they're in the same alliance. Maybe their service is also good. Despite that I've heard also negative things about this airline, about Air France. From somebody. But I, was, but I just brushed it over. I thought, oh well, you know, maybe it's just one of those things. Sometimes I'm not going to be overcritical because... Each airline have sometimes their good parts and the bad parts. It happens. It's once in a while. So I decided to book them. When we returned from Ghana and we had to fly back to the UK. <clears throat> we had to fly with Air France. First of all, they said that we were not allowed to check in um, our, um, an additional, uh, we were not allowed to check in the hand luggage because that was what I was allowed to do with, um, with KLM, but not with Air France. Because if I knew better, I wouldn't have put some of the other liquid in the hand luggage like palm oil and, you know, creams. So I was under the impression that I was allowed to check in my hand luggage. They didn't offer that service. They assured us that at the airport, but then they didn't offer it. I said, gosh. So unfortunately, they threw our liquid and everything that comes with it. I said, no problem. I've overlooked it. The airline, the, was, the flight was delayed. It was delayed with um, almost two hours. I said, I was calm I, and it was in the evening. I said, it's okay. It's one of those things. Nothing can be perfect. Like I've mentioned, I'm not overcritical. Now, we had to board the flight. Hey, hey. I regret that I didn't take pictures of that in that plane. I really regret that I didn't take any pictures. The plane was very, 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 very old. You think that it was a plane from the 80s. The plane was old. It was stuffy. Jesus. Even the, the screen 
at the uh, back of the each seat. That screen, I cannot even call it a screen. It's like it's from 1990, the, the resolution of that screen, I cannot even call it a resolution. It's not even a touch screen. It's, 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 I, I cannot even describe it. So I couldn't even make use of the, the TV. I couldn't make use of it. I was unable to make use of that screen. It was really disgraceful. Okay, I let it go. I said, I'm, in, I'm tired anyway. And mind you, I've heard that this flight, before it got to Ghana, yeah? This flight stopped in Benin Republic before it stopped in Ghana. I said, okay, no problem. It's one of those things. I thought from there we will go straight to um, Paris, our transit point. <laughs> no, that flight... Uh, stopped in Burkina Faso. So our next stop was Burkina Faso. Faso. I said, gosh, what is all this? I said, no problem. The air hostess, they are rude. <laughs> they are very, very rude. Most of them, they didn't even speak English. If you speak English to them, they'll just re reply to you in a very rude manner in French. Some tried with the English, but they were just so rude. You just ask, oh, and, and it's not even like you're hindering them. Yes, I know you have annoying passengers on the flights. But you just ask them, simple cup of water. She said, I'll be back. And she never, she never came back. You have to ask the other air hostess, can I have another uh, cup of water? That too also didn't give. Hmm. Let me continue. The food, no comment. I've flown with several airlines and the food was the worst food I've ever tasted. Usually, when it comes to Plain food, we're not really fan of the food, but at least you're able to eat it, to tolerate it. I'm not somebody who is extremely picky. I had one bite, I couldn't even eat the food. The food was so terrible. It seems like there was, <clears throat> there was basically hardly any seasoning. It was like some kind of terrible macaroni with not even any sauce. It was just with some kind of cheese i cannot even describe it the food was just food poisoning moving on we touched down in burkina faso because i guess they have to make use of the airline they they, they want to make sure that they will manage everything <clears throat> Manage the plane full, manage cost, everything, safe cost. That's why they're doing this. I said, okay, no problem. We had some uh, people from uh, Burkina Faso that were flying from Ghana to Burkina Faso. So we had to stop them there. No problem. We stopped in Burkina Faso for another almost two hours. Because they had to, uh, 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 some people from Burkina Faso also had to board a flight to fly to France. And so, of course, the cleaners came and then they cleaned in between, but we were stopping there also for almost two hours. Plus the other almost two hours delay. My God. After everybody boarded and it was time for us to take off. As we were flying, and I'm not even exaggerating, as we were flying, it felt like the plane was shaking. The plane was literally shaking. And I'm not even joking. I'm not going to lie. But I was getting prepared for the worst. That's how bad it was. The plane was shaking. Everybody's food that was on the, um, on the, um, on the back of the uh, seat, the table. Some people's food f f uh, fell. Because the flight was shaking. When I say the plane was shaking. 
it was very very scary it came with some kind of magnitude and I said, gosh, this old plane already, this plane does not seem strong. I said, gosh, if this is the end, then this is the end. I was really getting ready and I'm not even exaggerating. I panicked. It was terrible. It was really, really, really terrible. Thank God we survived it. Everything went well, but I don't know what that was. We never got an explanation what th what that was all about. <sighs> you would think it would end there. We finally arrived in Paris at the airport, the Jean something, whatever. I don't even bother to um, spell that name because that's also one of the worst transit airports that I've arrived. Yes, don't let the hype fool you. Don't let Paris fool you. Yeah? I it was it was a stressful airport to to land in. We arrived. Okay, you would think that the transit process would be smooth. It was not smooth at all. Um because the airport is very very big, so it took us a long walk. To get to um, customs because again even though we're on a transit we still have to go through customs we still have to go through luggage check passport check and I'm, I was already tired and exhausted we because the airport is so big and you're looking for your gate <clears throat> the customer service we went through was also not good you ask any of the people that are working there at the airport just a simple question in English they don't want to speak English they don't want to speak English we had to follow a couple of people in order to get there we were in the queue for um, luggage check for the hand luggage check gosh they came across another liquid that was on us to be honest and then they threw it away I say gosh that experience it in itself was just was was not a nice experience it wasn't smooth but um, for the rest from there then we just flew back to London some of you might be asking why am I making this video that it's only my experience and I complain too much or um, if that's the case why won't you take your own African Airlines which I am going to explain that also in another video about aviation in Africa what some of you don't understand yeah is that when certain airlines are given specific titles they're put on a pedestal and then we only read one side reviews about them that they're oh they're good they're world-class they're on the same level as KLM and all the other top airlines but then I cannot speak for what they do to the other countries in the world but I can speak to what they're doing especially in Africa already already when it comes to France or even some of the French colonies in Africa I don't know I cannot speak for all but sometimes it seems like they're just okay with how they're being treated by their so-called former um, uh, whatever uh, colonial master which is France because certain things are just very 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 unacceptable and I think s some of these airlines who send the worst and the oldest planes that they don't even send in other parts of the world it should be banned in Africa when it comes to the consumers of these airlines yes we know that Africans, they consume. 
they've taken so they, they utilize all types of airlines look at ghana now ghana is one of the most visited african country so now we keep getting more and more airlines that fly to ghana there's competition now when it comes to even other african countries too they utilize these airlines they don't have a choice there are some countries that it's only three uh, airlines that go to their country three or two they don't have the choice so of course they will utilize it the best that some of these airlines can do air france and i think there are also some other airlines which i will not call that intentionally keep sending the worst the oldest planes to africa they don't care about the, 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 their consumers. Because the consumers, they spend money and yet the disrespect. The disrespect when it comes to custom, customer service on these flights. The disrespect on old dusty planes. Planes that I don't even think that they're strong enough. Planes where you feel your life is at risk. What, what, what is that? What, I think people now, and, and that's the thing, I feel like sometimes when it comes to complaining, we just don't complain enough. We don't really read. I'm trying to sometimes Google because I know this is what people experience, but they, 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 they just decide to stay quiet. They decide to just stay quiet. They don't want to leave any review. You hardly see their review on maybe trust pilot or other things. All we do is complain behind the scenes. But these flights need to be banned. How can you consume something? You pay uh, for a ticket which is above 600 pounds. And yet yet you will not get the best quality there are other cheaper airlines far cheaper airlines like royal air maroc sometimes ethiopia airlines um turkish airlines they their flight tickets are cheap but at least they you see that they send they they they, they fly reasonable flights within africa but when it comes to this terrible airline air france which is a terrible terrible airline and i don't even care if somebody says that i'm overcritical their customer service is the worst the food is the worst the plane is the worst the experience is the worst now for some of you that don't feel the need to talk about it that's up to you but for everybody i feel that when we close our mouth nothing will happen the, the, this is just my experience but i feel that other people have also experienced it they'll intentionally use the same flight that will stop in other countries make sure that they'll stop at at least three other african countries so that they won't waste their fuel just all in the name of saving costs you can do better anyway me i've told myself I'll never fly with Air France again. Never. I don't even care if that's the last airline in this world. Me personally, I'll never fly with them. This is just my experience. Um, and that's just all I wanted to say. Let me know what you think about this video. And I'm going to do another next video too. In regards to the aviation um, aviation in Africa. Also what, what it is with some of the other airlines. Thank you for watching. I love you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like this video, and turn this notification button on so that at least I keep coming in every time. It seems like I'm forgotten. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.